Crusader Caravans in Campbell for Victoria. The day's finally come, the moment you've been waiting for, the Excalibur Serenity fully composite caravans arrived at Crusader Melbourne. Take a look. winning manufacturer of the year build construction couldn't get any better or so you thought this guy here is a fully insulated constructed caravan that means the walls the front the roof the back the floor the lot this guy is a fully insulated caravan so what does that mean for you as a buyer it means it is stronger it means that because it is a CNC cut panel we're millimeter spot on with our construction ability it means no water no ingress no rot no worries the caravan Insurers are going to be giving you, the consumer, a backed 10% off your insurance for having a fully constructed composite caravan. They believe in the assurance of the composite construction and we believe in it as well. I'm going to highlight some of the big differences with the Crusader Caravan composite material as we walk through this tutorial, but let me introduce you to what's up first. We have a six inch, as traditionally known from the caravan's A-frame all the way back to the wheels. The construction of the chassis hasn't changed. We have come standard in this particular model with a 50 mil ball coupling, our reversing camera. We also have all of our wires. We have our 12 pin and Anderson plug powering that of the DC to DC mini boost charger, as well as our breakaway as ADR compliant. We have these awesome Matador hooks from the team at Intel Engineering to hang our chains on, as well as our bolt on jockey wheel here at the front. One thing really great about the Excaliburs is we have this beautiful shroud that highlights the construction of the chassis. It also be able to protect all of the underhanging low areas. We have two nine kilo gas bottles with a regulator protector. We have a toolbox here on the front with jerry cans either side. We have a generator slide here at the offside and on the door side, we have a Weber Q slide like so. So we pop him out, easy to use. Gas bayonet there is mounted on the side with our clearance lights. Now, one thing to note, we have our J-molds running all the way back to the front. It is a wide J-mold to make sure there is no ingress material whatsoever. But as they put the walls and the roof together, the chance of that ingress occurring is almost minimal anyway, so you're fully protected. We have a very, very expensive bully line material all the way up the front and capping here at the front and sides, complete, completely keeping that unit as a one piece, almost monocoque construction. We have a number nine tunnel boot all the way through. We're keeping all of that clear. All of the electrical has been removed from here to be able to keep it nice, free flowing. Unlike the previous models, you're gonna get probably about 12 inches more storage in your tunnel boot. Compliance here, we're running just, just a few kilos over 2600 and for a Serenity with this current build construction, we average it anywhere between 80 to 120 kilos depending on the constructional items picked by the consumer at chance of build. So what you're doing is we're talking a lighter tow, which means more uh, less petrol, it means less diesel, it means less cost for you as a consumer. Lighter, the better. That's what we're aiming here for. Stepping back, you can notice that like, it is just clean. It is a streamlined decal all the way across, no joints. This guy here cleans up beautifully. We've just given this a full pressure wash and a clean. Just a bit of car wash on here, ripe it all off, nice and easy. One thing that I noticed being in caravans for so long are these fantastic constructional plates here for our awnings. We have top and bottom powder coated black. Most manufacturers are running their silver standard plates. This is just next level stuff. It makes the caravan pop. It makes the caravan understand as to why you the consumer would spend that extra dollar and buy a fully composite van. We've got picnic table for all of our storage needs. We have our checker plate wheel spat just to give it a bit of flair. 15 inch 235 all wheels and terrain tires. Our A-frame runs right back to the wheel where it meets a two-inch lift kit to give it that reinforcement all the way back to the shower. And our chassis continues all the way across. We have here an almost a 12-inch construction right there and there. So this is made by the Australian company Intel Engineering partnered with Crusader. 
three, uh, 450 MPA grade of steel, three millimeter steel, no shortcuts taken. This is all Australian manufactured product. We've got a Tough Ride 3.3 ton suspension, giving you at a tear weight of 2.6, an overall capacity of 700 kilos payload, which is massive. You've got complete utilization of all weights. You've got 295 liter water tanks and 195 gray on this little unit. The argument handle with our entry step light, of course, coming on there with an electric step. A lot of people ask us in the caravan industry, what about composite? How strong is it? As far as this guy here, it is strong, sturdy, and secure. This van is built as expensive as our $156,000 units made for a fully off-road terrain warranty. The composite material packs an absolute punch. You couldn't do that sort of force hit to that of an aluminium van or Maranti van. This guy here, it is a 32 mil foam fiberglass insulated panel. Once a polyurethane adhesive is set into the construction ability of the van, that thing's not moving. This thing is solid as. A lot of people ask us, because the competitors always are throwing that out there. What happens if you damage it? So let's say you side swipe something and nick the side. You peel back the decal, you fill it with fiberglass, you paint match, you sand it, you apply the decal back. Just like a boat. The boating guys have been doing it for years and the caravan guys are catching up. This is a 2022 new gen van. Make sure when you're buying a van, you're buying the latest and greatest technology with Crusader. Let me keep going. We have our midgy proof screen door. So we have crimp safe doors, try lock up there, and it finishes black on the outside. Again, nice and strong. Our electric step, and our door stop there, of course. Our awning obviously continues the whole way. That is about a 17 foot awning on that unit there from Dometic. Walking across the back here, we have the traditional Crusader LED light. One thing to note is the aerodynamic change of the van. So we've improved the aerodynamics of the van. We've got a flush finish, uh, flush finish back. So that's gonna increase the um, quality assurance to make sure it's a square fit finish every single time, giving you more storage in your back overhead cupboards that we'll see when we get inside. Spare wheel holder at the back with a hot dip gal chassis uh, bumper at the back there, as well as our rear view camera. We have our 28 litre stainless steel Australian made hot water service from Swift. We have our toilets. This one's from uh, Thetford. We have our external shower, fridge vents of course, our bully liner check sides, our pump cover like so, as well as our quick fill main system, mains pressure, grey water and grey cleaning valve. Just the traditional features you've come to know and love on the Crusader range. Our Dometic double glaze windows from Dometic of course, like so, double glaze gonna keep that heat in. Biggest thing is insulation properties. So these insulation properties of the wall, insulation properties of the window, we're trying to save you energy. We're trying to save you heat and we're trying to save you from getting cold. Water fillers, of course. We have our power inlet as well as our entry other side on our tunnel boot. So nice and clear in there. Heap of room for storage and completely unimpeded boot. Generator slide, like so. I just want to highlight to you one important factor why you're spending the extra dollars. Where there's a join in a caravan, where your construction is having a fiberglass skin with Maranti under it, any point of ingress is a point of concern. Even if, let's say, you hit something, you knock the light, a little kid comes up and swinging a bat, knocks the light off. If water gets in this, nothing can happen, nothing can damage, nothing can swell, nothing's gonna give you heartache. A, most caravan repairers with wall damage within water is going to cost you anywhere between twelve dollars to $18,000 to skin that van, rebuild it and reply it. You're never going to have that problem with Crusader composite caravans. Manufactured standard across the range from July 2022 for all stock units. Now, one piece from here where this meets, it wraps all the way across all the way across to the back edge. One piece here, one piece floor, one piece wall. It is absolutely insane the constructional material that these guys are putting forward. There is nothing like it in the caravan industry that is in an economic range. Be one of the first people to secure a fully composite Crusader at the old price. Now let's make our way inside. I'll meet you in there. Inside of our composite Crusader. One thing to note, if you have a bit of a look around, not a lot's different, which is fantastic. Most people within the composite market change their vans, make them look very obscure. Crusader has maintained the same stylish and luxury award-winning look that we always have, but in a constructional format that is completely, completely revolutionary to that of the industry. 
One thing you'll notice is all the wiring is running internal. Well, hidden at the back for quick access if you need to. This does not remove any storage in your cupboards. You're still gonna get a heap of storage across this whole van. A little electrical cupboard up here, our range hood taking a portion here, but you still get maximum, maximum storage enhancement across the whole van. Still, the piano hinging with reinforced gas struts at 60 Newtons, striked onto an aluminium uh, extrusion, provides absolute strength. People are always asking us, what's it like? How strong is it? Well, it's pretty bloody strong. It packs a punch. We're gonna cut to a clip. It's the traditional caravan salesman clip. I hate to do it, but I have gotta do it. I'm gonna hang off a cupboard. You can get an idea. I'm, I'd lie if I say I'm 80, I'm probably like 85. 85 kilos hanging off this overhead cupboard. You're gonna understand the strength of it and you're gonna understand what sort of impact this thing can handle. But to make no mistake, the strength of it is absolutely insane. We'll cut to that clip and we'll come back. What's hanging? That was a bit of fun. So what is different about the constructional material? So. One thing that is completely different and completely changed our manufacturing style is all of this carcass, all of the furniture, CNC cut, 16 mil ply board of course, is assembled prior to walking into the van. They build it on the floor. The quality assurance is 100 bloody percent. These guys do such a great job. Everything is fitted off. The gaps are absolutely millimetre perfect. These guys have gone to the next level. It's manufactured on a bench, which means that they pick up the assembly, pre-wired, looms ready to go, place it inside the van on the 42 mil composite floor, and they line it with a polyurethane adhesive, wiring ready to go, ready to be capped off. They pick it up, they plug it in, it's ready to roll, the wall gets stuck on. Once that adhesive sets, once they put their screws in, once they put it all together, it is just indestructible. Do not be fooled by the old salesman's tactic. This is a completely, completely different and really misunderstood construction material. You are getting the strongest material available on the caravan market, tested by Crusader. Let me show you some of the inside. This guy here is a 1000 by 800 Dometic window. You still have your 80 inch clearance height in the van. We've got cable ducts that run across to be able to have easy access everywhere. You still get your full height storage. You're still getting your deep drawers. The fan favorite loved metal sided drawers with polycomp construction. No, mater uh, no uh, ingressible material in any of the drawer. It's a composite constructed drawer. Queen bed, six foot two by five foot. Access underneath. We have our battery, our new battery Trek, battery plus 35 2HA by projector as well as mini boost fit out. It comes with a 32 inch TV. All the things you know and love are standard in the Excalibur range you're getting. We found fan forced ovens, Sirocco fans, reading lights, double power points either side of the bed. It comes completely fitted out with everything you know and love. We still have full roof hatches, air conditioner, LED strip lighting in a composite van with a composite roof. You don't get these things. You're still getting a traditional looking van, fully composite. No one's doing this. Storage, drawers, one, two, three and a little flap here at the bottom we have a full cupboard door underneath there microwave below bench with filter tap of course piano hinging all the way through our radio our sphere wireless lighting gas hot water dimmable strip lighting nothing has gone you still receive all of the things you know and love 220 litre fridge draw draw pantry it's all locked, loaded, ready to go. This is a semi off road van, so it's ready for some semi off road work. Here in our ensuite, that cupboard I was mentioning earlier, elbows worth the room. It's flying in there. The little hooks at the back here is how the wiring ducts are run. So it's all the way through the van, same style. There's a full standardized layout. Nothing can go wrong with these units. We have drawer, 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 cupboard pantry. Sink, shaving cabinets, the fan favorite shaving cabinets, still here, no reduced room, everything is ready to roll. Our washing machine, four kilo Kamek, still happening. Storage up there at the back, little bit of wiring there. Everything is so easy to be able to get to. Our shower, still the same shower you know and love. As far as the composite van, the first of its kind, this thing is kicking some serious butt. If you want to find out more, speak to your local dealer. The composite vans are coming thick and fast. Head to our website, www.crusadercaravansmelbourne.com.au. Give us a call, 03-9359-2938. Speak to one of our sales guys. 
or alternatively, like and subscribe for the next one. We'll catch you soon. Thank you guys.